a lot happened that year, so let's rewind a bit. I started a Clash Mini podcast with one of my best friends that opened up the doors to meeting so many amazing people within the Clash Mini community. We got to interview creators, including Spoo, who we actually got to meet up with in person. We also got the chance to interview the top players of the game, and how could I forget the fact that we interviewed the community manager of Clash Mini himself. What's happening? <laughs> I What's finally happening? made it. We also did a game show where over $100 was donated to different charity organizations. You will get $100 donated in your name to the charity water to provide clean water for around the world. I even took the leap into starting a completely new channel from scratch that I had a platform to create even more videos, some of which got the intention of some pretty big names in the Supercell community. So so yeah, that's pretty cool. And while I wish I had ended this year off with a bigger bang, unfortunately, this last month, time was the thing I had the least of. I had to put a lot of my attention on other responsibilities, and when I finally had the time to crank out the best, most amazing Clash Mini content the internet has ever seen, my entire family and I got COVID. <laughs> yeah, the timing really sucked on that one. I'm all better now, and while I couldn't end this year off on a bang, I'm still so happy and thankful to what I was able to accomplish this year, and I can't wait to see what 2023 brings. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, the night is the worst mini in the game. <laughs>